Hey everybody, Micah here at the Electrek, and today I'm coming to you from Suzhou, China, where I'm visiting the Bafang factory to learn how electric bicycle motors are made. Let's check it out. Bafang is perhaps the biggest name in electric bicycle parts, and if you've ridden a number of e-bikes, then there's a pretty good chance that you've used Bafang parts and not even realized it. They make everything from e-bike batteries to controllers and displays, but they're probably best known for their motors. I got to take a look behind the curtain to see how the e-bike sausage is made, so to speak, and it's a pretty interesting process. Now both hub motors and mid-drive motors start with similar internals, where employees hand assemble the rotors and stators with strong magnets and wound coils of copper. Each of the components is built and staged for the next step in the assembly process. While hub motors are a dime a dozen, mid-drive motors that place the motor down in the bottom bracket area of the bike are more complicated and they're usually more expensive as well. German companies like Bosch and Broza get a lot of the attention in the industry, but Bafang's mid-drives are usually found on e-bikes with price tags that are more attractive to the average consumer. To build their mid-drive motors, Bafang employees start with the empty shell that will house all of the motor and drive components. Employees begin by installing each component into the motor case on an assembly line. This process starts with the motor's rotor and stator, which are bolted into position. Next, the unit is passed down the line to the controller station, where the electronic speed controller is installed. After the controller is installed, the nylon gears are installed. These gears reduce the higher speed motor shaft output down to a more reasonable pedaling speed. Once these components are installed, an initial check is performed on the controller to ensure that it is functioning properly within the motor drive unit. If everything looks good, then the motor heads down the line to have the outer case cover bolted onto the unit, sealing the motor and the rest of the goodies inside. The sealed motors then undergo a full loading test to ensure that all of the components are working properly under simulated road use conditions. Once the motor checks out, it gets its quality check sticker applied and then moves down the line to be serialized, where a laser etches in the motor's serial number and it's recorded into Bafang's system. At that point, the motor has graduated and is ready for the real world, where it will be packed up and shipped off to one of hundreds of companies that build e-bikes using Bafang's parts. While motors and drive units get most of the attention, other components like displays and throttles are also critical parts of an e-bike. In another part of the factory, these components are hand-assembled by skilled workers. This is done in a clean room, and I actually had to put on booties and an overcoat before stepping in. Close by, the controllers we saw earlier are prepared by hand as well. Each piece is inspected, tested, and assembled into its subcomponent before being trolleyed over to the next station where it will become just a single piece in a larger component or system. All of this work is part of a carefully orchestrated dance that ensures each employee has the components that he or she needs at the right time to keep the entire system flowing like a well-oiled machine. But it's not just assembly and manufacturing that happens in the Bafang factory, there's also research and development going on as well. While I got to see much of this myself, there was one section of the factory's R&D department that was locked and I wasn't allowed to enter. This was described as the Skunk Works area, and I don't know what's going on in there, but you can bet I was pretty darn curious. I pestered the Bafong team that hosted me with a series of questions, and while I never got straight answers, 
I'd bet dollars to donuts that we're gonna see a Bafong branded e-bike transmission coming in the next year or so, designed to handle the stresses of e-bike motors in ways that typical bicycle parts like those made by Shimano were never meant for. No one told me this explicitly, but the closer I got to this topic, the less anyone wanted to answer questions, so I've got a good feeling something in the e-bike transmission area is going to be coming out of Bafong soon. And speaking of how components hold up to stresses of e-bike loads, the last thing I got to see at the factory was Bafong's own in-house e-bike testing team. They have examples of just about every type of electric bicycle out there, and they put mile after mile on these bikes using riders of just about every shape and size out there. This constant testing helps to try out newly developed products, as well as continue long-term testing of existing products. This way, Bafong ensures that they handle every aspect of e-bike components under one roof, from building the raw parts to final road testing. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed seeing how e-bike motors are made. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of our electric vehicle videos right here on Electrek.